It's Oscar night this Sunday at the Kodak Theater in Los Angeles, California, and I will predict the winners right here on the download. Don't ask me how I do it. I'll pick the winners in the top three categories, Best Lead Actor, Best Lead Actress, and Best Picture. So let's start this omniscient look at Hollywood's groping group hug right now. We start with nominees for Best Lead Actor George Clooney in Michael Clayton, about a corporate problem solver who discovers his conscience. I'm not a miracle worker. I'm a janitor. The math on this is simple. The smaller the mess, the easier it is for me to clean up. Next up, Daniel Day-Lewis in There Will Be Blood about avarice and greed and oil, of course. Want to find someone else that's going to come up here and drill, Eli? There's a whole ocean of oil under our feet. Now on to Johnny Depp and Sweeney Todd about that murderous barber. You, sir. Two, sir. Welcome to the grave. I will have vengeance. And Tommy Lee Jones in the Valley of Ella. He's the father of a missing Iraq veteran. But my son has spent the last 18 months bringing democracy to a and serving his country. He deserves better than this. And then there's Viggo Mortensen in Eastern Promises, all about Eastern European mob stuff. Have you ever met Goku Tatiana? I met a lot of girls called Tatiana. And I predict the winner is... Drum roll, please, Alicia. Daniel Day-Lewis, great performance, and he's the only one of the five who may not have been seen with the likes of Lindsay Lohan. The Academy appreciates that. Now on to nominees for Best Lead Actress, Kate Blanchett in Elizabeth's playing that virgin queen. If my people break the law, they shall be punished. Until that day, they shall be protected. Out of Julie Christie and away from her. She has Alzheimer's and a new boyfriend. And no, not him. He's the husband. I don't think we should be looking for something we like, Grant. I don't think we'll ever find that. Next, Marianne Cotillard in La Vie and Rose, the life and loves of singer Edith Piaf. Oh, and Laura Linney in The Savages, A Strange Siblings, and Dad with Dementia. You know, you're just like him. He never thought I could do anything on it. Why are you comparing me to Dad? Comparing you to Dad? What is the point? No! You the don't think I have any talent! Also, Ellen Page in Juno, unmarried, pregnant, smarty pants teen. I'm pregnant. Oh, God. Yeah, but I, I'm going to give it up for adoption, and I already found the perfect couple. They're going to pay for the medical And I predict... Winner is Ellen Page and Juno. She plays a noxious, smart mouth, pain of the neck, a true child of Hollywood, and the Academy appreciates that too. <laughs> now on to the big award of the evening, Best Picture. The nominees, atonement and romance between these two beautiful people, but it all goes awry when this woman's younger sister accuses the lad of a crime he didn't commit. Next up, Juno, yes, the one about the pregnant, unmarried teen with the attitude. This is Gerta Rouse, our um, attorney. Gerta Rouse. Hi, nice to meet you. See what I mean? Little Juno needs a little spanking. And next, Michael Clayton. As I said, George plays a loyal corporate problem solver until he becomes the problem. All in the quest for justice. Now on to No Country for Old Men, a grizzled veteran lawman looking for a psychotic killer who's looking for the guy who stumbled upon, then took a whole bunch of money. And finally, there will be blood. Yes, there will be when Daniel Day-Lewis plays an unholy son of a gun. In other words, an oil man, kidding, who doesn't just find oil and drill for it, he kills for it, too. And the winner is Atonement. I mean, come on, need I say more? That's our special look at the Oscars. Feel free to use my picks to impress friends and family Sunday night. Thanks for being here, and see you soon.